Hello, ASA friends. My name is Mark Strand, professor at North Dakota State University and longtime ASA member. What does it mean to be a Christian and a scientist? That was a question I was asking in 1990 at the University of Minnesota when I was earning my master's degree in cell and developmental biology. At that time, I had the privilege of running into a Dr. Elving Anderson, who was a longtime ASA member and a internationally known uh, brain and mind uh, researcher. And he was able to introduce me to an understanding of faith and science, which allowed for the best integration of both. He introduced me to the ASA, and he brought me along to the 50th anniversary meeting that year uh, held at Wheaton College. And now I've been an ASA mem member for the last 29 years, including attending eight annual conferences and being a faithful reader of our journal, Perspectives on Science and Christian Faith. And this year, I was particularly proud to be honored by being chosen as a fellow of the ASA. Why do I invest my time and money in an organization like the American Scientific Affiliation? First off is fellowship. You know, sometimes I feel lonely in my scientific world because of uh, lack of opportunities for fellowship with um, believing scientists. But at the same time, I feel alone at, in the church because of sometimes not finding people to understand or appreciate the imp implications of science on our faith. The American Scientific Affiliation is the best of both worlds, which brings top-notch scientists together with, uh, in, in ways where their genuine Christian faith uh, is brought to the table in such an enriching way so that we can uh, grow in both our spiritual lives and also in our science. In fact, the need for science and faith, and in fact, scientific literacy, it seems to me has never been greater. Whether genomics and ethics, understanding COVID-19 and implications of the science of it, the value of vaccines or the risks involved with climate change, Science literacy has never been in greater demand. In fact, the COVID pandemic has shown how fickle people are about selecting and deciding what is true and the role of science in their lives. I think as Christians and ASA members, we can speak truthfully about science to a skeptical and fearful world, but we can also speak with hope based on our faith in Christ. Finally, why do I give to the ASA? We all give to things we believe in, and those things which we believe will take our few loaves and fish and use them to feed thousands. The ASA is an organization which is professionally run, which is an organization with integrity and, and frugal, frugality. And so I believe strongly in the mission of the ASA and believe that my donations are essential to maintaining and strengthening the ASA and, and, and its impact on society and in the church in the years to come. Thank you for your involvement, and I hope you also continue to give your time and your treasure to the ASA.